In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly clean and dress tires. I'll be using two different tools. I'll be using this long fender brush with the more larger brush head and then this smaller tire brush. Now, just as a side tip, you can also buy an extra brush, don't use this one specifically that you use on the tires, to also clean carpet because uh, the bristles are pretty stiff and the, the, um, the handle on it kind of makes it really easy to, to, to brush carpet. So that's just another thought. If you want to buy another one to use for carpet, that'll work good too. And as far as dressing, I'll use Meguiar's Hybrid Dressing on an applicator plaid. Now this one used to actually be red because I actually didn't have any laying around that were black. So I used red and after, you know, several uses it turned black. So there are some black applicator plaids so you know, it's not gonna seem dirty or as dirty since it's already black. But yeah, just any applicator plaid, any foam applicator pad, or if you want, you can use a towel or there are several different types of foam pads that kind of mold to the contour of the tire to make it easier to apply the dressing. And the cleaner I'm gonna be using is Meguiar's D101 All-Purpose Cleaner, diluted 10 to 1. Most of the time, for most of the cleaning that I do, will be 10 to 1. I do have an extra bottle diluted 4 to 1 if need be, but for the most part, I'll just pull out the 10 to 1, agitate it a few times, and I'm good to go. Now, before we get started on the tires, I will say that uh, you won't always clean 110% of the tire off. If it's been you know months, possibly years, that you haven't cleaned your tires, or if you're doing this as a business, your customers' tires, then you don't go in there expecting you're gonna get every single you know 80% of the gunk off because either you know you're on, you're on a time limit, you're on a budget limit, so it's not that like you can spend all day just cleaning the tires. So for one, you know don't think you're gonna get every single if you're gonna get the entire thick layer of mud off. You can go for probably 60, 70, possibly 80, depending on the tire, the time, your technique. But yeah, if you know, don't go for absolute 100% cleanness because it's the tires, it'll get dirty again. And if the customer isn't paying you that much or you don't have that much time, you have to push and pull on certain parts of the detail. And there is a big difference between cleaning some, you know, regular profile tires like this on this on a sedan or coupes as compared to cleaning like some Jeep or like some big truck tires because obviously the, the side was much thicker. There's probably gonna be a lot more grooves on bigger tires, which makes it a lot more difficult to clean and to dress the tires. So just keep that in mind that you probably, you will take more time cleaning the wheels and tires of a bigger, dirtier truck than you, you will a typical or an average size sedan or coupe. That's just the way it is. Obviously that's gonna change case by case. Maybe you have a small car like this, but they have 20 inch rims with some super low profile, whatever the case may be it's gonna differ tire to tire. So I'm not gonna be using a water hose or a pressure washer to hose it down, just because I'm kinda lazy, don't wanna get the floor all wet. So what I'm just gonna do is wipe it down with a towel after I clean it. Now you can't do this if the tire's not that bad. If it's completely gunked and ugly and there's just a thick layer of dirt, then you're most definitely gonna wanna use a hose because a towel would kinda get too, um, it'll get used up pretty quick. But on that same note, if you wanna just use a towel instead of water hose, you can do that too or you can get a, a spray bottle of just water and hose it down a little bit and then wipe it down. If that can fit your scenario, if that's you know, kind of aligned with what you wanna do, that's also an option. So I personally do not hose down the wheel or tire before I start cleaning, just because I feel like that dilutes the cleaner and it doesn't work as good. Totally personal preference, there is no right way or wrong way, whatever you deem worthy and whatever, uh, whatever process you wanna take. So I put it on a mid, uh, I just adjust the nozzle here to kind of give it a good mist. And I don't douse it down either. I don't, you know, completely saturate it. I'll give it maybe at max three on one side of the tire and then I'll start agitating. So one, two, three. And then I'll just start agitating. So these two brushes will do the, will do the job. They both do great. Um, it just depends. Again, if you're using, if you're on a bigger truck, you want to use like a bigger brush, obviously, because you want to get more of that uh, sidewall. On a smaller uh, wheel, on a smaller tire, smaller tire like this, you can go with a smaller bristle brush. For the most part, it's gonna get you the same results. Um, the big thing is like how dirty is the the tire and how many passes are you gonna make to get it to the des desired result that you want. And then you'll literally just scrub. And you'll you know if if those three sprays were not enough, then you'll just obviously give it a few more sprays. So if that's not enough, then I'll just do it again. And I, I always try not to completely saturate it. I don't want to overdo it because it is not necessary in my opinion. So you're going to scrub back and forth until you think it's good enough. Um, 
And like I said, at this point, you'd want to hose it down. But if not, you can get a, bo a spray bottle with water. It doesn't, you know, it's not going to do the best job by any means, but just to get it a little bit saturated and then you just literally wipe it down. Of course, the tire is going to be completely filthy. The tire, the towel is going to be completely filthy. But that'll do a good enough job. Okay, so that was the example with this brush. Now we'll do the left side of the tire. Again, the same process, just a few squirts. So that should be good. And then we'll take this uh, brush and just agitate it the same way. Okay, so then I'll get the spray bottle just to kind of somewhat rinse it down again. Take the towel. And as usual, it's going to be completely filthy. It's always going to be completely filthy. You'll, you'll never really uh, truly clean the tire to perfection or to, you know, 90% clean unless you really want to spend the entire, well, not the entire day, but a lot more time than what you need to clean the tire. So it's kind of hard to tell here on video because the lighting isn't that good. But there's still just a light bit of dirt that we can probably go one more pass. Um, so you kind of want to determine how many passes you want to do. Most, for the most part, I'll give it two passes and then I'll just be done. I'll end it there because uh, if it's just a maintenance wash or they're just cutting, like if I'm doing like a basic wash and a wax, then I won't really go completely at it because, you know, a few days, it's probably gonna get to the same condition. So I'll get it good enough to where it's not completely caked on. I'll apply the dressing and then it'll look much better. But if you do wanna go for another application, then it's just gonna be the same process. You get your brush and you agitate. Now at this point, not much. As you can tell in the prior pass that I did, a lot of it was a lot more browning coming out. Here it's not so much anymore because I re I removed the film, the the layer of, of dirt. So hopefully it's getting picked up on the video. So now it's not as bad. So that means the tire is decently cleaned. And at which point again, I'll just go ahead and wipe it down. Use a spray bottle to assist me a bit. Now that the tire is 100% dry, so now I can, I can go ahead and apply the dressing. Again, this is hyper dressing from Meguiar's. I forgot what I diluted it to. Uh, I think there's four dilutions to Meguiar's hyper dressing. So it is a bit versatile whether you want to kind of, you know, uh, very glossy, not so glossy, Satan. There's quite a bit of options as far as dilutions go. So there's two types of methods. You can either spray directly onto the tire, and I'd kind of recommend it towards bigger tires. Um, but a small tire like this, I would just go ahead and spray it directly into the applicator pad. Just because it's a bit easier to control and you reduce the overspray on the wheels, on the paint, on the fenders. Um, and you'll just work it in. Uh, if there is a, a lip or gap between the rim and the tire, you want to kind of just pinch it and work it in there. This one obviously doesn't have that. But you would just want to work it in the grooves depending on the type of tire that it is. Like I said, those big truck tires, they will have a lot more grooves, uh, a lot more indentions. So it is, you know, you gotta make sure that you are uh, equally covering the entire tire because then what's gonna happen is, you know, you'll, or even you know, on, on smaller tires like this where you'll just completely miss one area, like in the bottom of the tire, right, we well, can't see, but at the bottom of the tire where the, it's, it's coming in contact with the floor. And if you don't, you know, if you don't roll it a bit forward, then you're gonna clearly see a, a dry spot on the tire which, you know, if the customer is very picky or if you yourself just detailing your own car, you're very picky, then obviously that's just going to bother you and um, you have to go back and do it again. So you just want to make sure you have equal coverage throughout the entire tire. If there's a lot of grooves, a lot of crevices, you want to make sure you're getting your towel or your applicator pad in there. Um, another thing you can do with bigger tires. Now, I don't normally do this or I don't do it at all, but what you can actually do is get a dedicated tire brush to just put on the uh, tire dressing. So like on thicker tires that have all those grooves and stuff, you could, spit, you could spray the dressing directly onto the tire and then use a brush to work into the grooves of the tire instead of trying to jam your towel or your finger or the applicator pad into all the crevices. You could just use a brush to you know, do the work for you and, uh, and dress it like that. Now you do want to use a dedicated tire brush because, or I mean, or you don't have to actually, 
depending on your preference because um, you know the other brush that I used, the Fender brush, that was to scrub it down so the, the, the bristles are actually very dirty. Um, and then this one will just be to actually apply the tire dressing. But that's really your personal preference on which, you know, how many brushes you want to carry with you. I personally don't really do this option. Um, only when I absolutely know I'm going to have like a big, I'm going to work on a big truck with tires or any vehicle that has big tires, I'll go with this option. And that essentially wraps it up. Now, if you're using a tire applicator pad and both sides are getting uh, dressed on, like both sides have the product, then this is going to happen, or at least in my experience this happens where you get all the residue so you always want to wear gloves or get an applicator pad where you only use one side of it to keep it as clean as possible because uh, the residue just feels very you know filmy and sticky and it's just not good it doesn't feel good and that wraps it up it wasn't the most complex thing you can do we are just cleaning and dressing tires so it doesn't take too much of an explanation again you will have different cases where the tires really big or it just you know, there's a lot of grooves on it so it will take you a bit more time and a bit more effort and if you're in dead heat sun or it's very humid it is going to suck because you're going to be sweating cleaning a tire it's not going to go well but just keep that in mind go ahead and check the description box down below if you do want to start your own detailing business like this video subscribe leave a comment down below on the products or tools or some of the methods you use to clean tires and I'll see you on the next video.